Hello, today we're talking about the AT2-5 from LAE. In this scenario you have an E1 fault. E1s only um, correspond to the room probe, the first probe. It's normally going to be either the probe is not present or the probe has been wired incorrectly. As you can see this one's flashing, giving us an error as we turn up to site. Chances are if it's been wired incorrectly it would look like this. You can see at the bottom the common on number 11 and number 9 for T2 have been wired in so that we cannot see the T1 which should be wired into number 10. So we're going to rectify this and we're going to show you what it looks like afterwards. So now you can see we've rectified the, the probe. The probes now are going to the common of 11 and to number 10 for T1. As you can see down the bottom there it's all corrected. So once this has been done the controller can be turned on and now we have the controller looking as it should do, as what we want, and now we're able to use it for extra parameters or for the customer to use it as he wants.